Hey, what's going on everybody? Pastor Matt here. Today we are looking at the Reformation Heritage King James Version Study Bible by Reformation Heritage Books. This time I happen to get the hardback edition. I have to admit uh, that I've been kind of into hardbacks lately. I've been in a six or seven year goat skin and calf skin phase for book collecting and Bible collecting, but man, I'm kind of turning back the other way towards hardbacks lately, and this is about as handsome a volume as you can get. Matter of fact, it kind of looks like it's a, it's a leather cover there, doesn't it? It's actually not, but what a beautiful hardback. Here's a look at the spine, Reformation Heritage King James. Uh, here's a logo for Reformation Heritage Books. No raised ribs or anything like that on this volume, but this is a very attractive one. And I'm going to do my best today because I don't have my tripod for my camera, so a lot of this is just going to be one-handed. But when I go ahead and open up this volume, of course, we have some spots for filling in information, uh, your marriage card, your family record card, uh, occasions to remember. If you want to do a travel log, this would be a nice place to do that. And uh, here's the title page, Reformation Heritage Study Bible. And um, I knew this was going to be a problem. Our editors, Joel Beakey, General Editor, Michael Barrett's Old Testament, Gerald Bilks, New Testament, Paul Smalley, Editorial Assistant. Now, if there are other contributors to this volume, I haven't found where it says so. So I'm assuming that this is primarily the work of these four men. Um, I would like to see a broader perspective, broader scope of contributors to a volume like this. Um, but perhaps there are, and I'm just not aware of it. Um, let's go ahead and look at uh, some of the stuff in the formatter here. Now, you probably noticed by the title of this volume that it's the Reformation Heritage Study Bible. And so a lot of the articles uh, should be from a, a Reformed and confessional perspective. And in fact, they are. Look at some of these here. We've got election, regeneration, justification by faith alone, uh, perseverance of the saints, okay? Um, the covenants, these are some things that we would come to expect in a distinctly Reformed study Bible. So this is, uh, if you're broadly evangelical, you might like this. If you're Pentecostal or charismatic, you may feel a little bit less comfortable here. Uh, but if you're Reformed and confessional, this is probably going to be one of the best study Bibles that you're going to be able to find. Now here's some welcome matter in the front, kind of explaining the overlaying principles of why they did what they did. And I do happen to like this article on the King James Version. Uh, arguing from three uh, perspectives here, the tradition of the King James, the text of the King James, so some textus receptive, uh, receptive stuff there, and then the translation. So Beakey prefers the King James, and a lot of Reformed folks do, although many others uh, are modern text people like the English Standard Version. But if you're Reformed and King James Version preferred, this is going to be about the best study Bible you can find. So here's a several page article on the importance of the King James Version. Um, and let's go ahead and get into some samples of what we might find in this study Bible. First of all, an introduction to the classification of literature. For instance, the Pentateuch, a couple of pages there. And then most of the, the books of the Bible are going to get a pretty similar introduction. Here's the one for Genesis, some uh, some information on authorship and date, of course, is a conservative volume. This argues for mosaic authorship of Genesis and the other books of the Pentateuch. Issues of interpretation. This um, interview to Genesis looks a little bit longer than most. And then you have, of course, an outline of the main contents of the book. When you get into the main text of any particular book, you're going to notice that it is double column and verse by verse. So the main text, double column, verse by verse, perfect for preaching and teaching. You get into the notes on the bottom, and you have commentary both on the Greek, the Hebrew, and why the King James uses certain of the language that it uses. Now, one of the things that I find particularly interesting is that every section comes with every chapter, literally, with thoughts for personal and family worship. So beautiful stuff for using for family table devotions. Uh, my family, we just used this yesterday. It was Resurrection Sunday. We read from Luke 24. And the this little section, Thoughts for Personal and Family Worship, greatly appreciated. Okay, here would be an example of one of the theological articles, always about one page. And check this out. This one happens to be adapted from John Calvin Institutes of the Christian Religion. So it really does live up to its name as a, as a re Reformed Reformation confessional study Bible. Now, my battery signal's going low on my phone, so I'm going to hurry up here and hasten to some of the back matter. 
I do want to mention that this edition comes with the confessions and creeds. So you get the Apostles' Creed, Nicene Creed, Athanasian Creed. Here we're looking at the Westminster Confessional Standards. Also Heidelberg, Belgic, Canons of Dort, all these come in the back of your Bible, which I find just decidedly convenient. Also, this is really cool here, I have to mention this. 20 centuries of church history, one century per page. If you're not familiar with the basic story of Christian history from the time of Christ on to today, you get one page per hundred years. That is so awesome just to kind of review what God has done in redemption history after the close of the canon. Okay, so creeds, confessions, and then you get into some other Bible study stuff. Oh, here's the McShane uh, reading program. Four recommended sections per day, two for private reading, two for family worship. Very cool. Again, the emphasis on family worship, greatly appreciated in this volume. And then some other traditional back matter, including a wonderful concordance. Very, very helpful. Overall, an excellent, excellent study Bible. I'm going to post a link to this uh, to Amazon in the description of this video. So you can toggle down to the description, hop over to Amazon, get yourself this very useful and excellent resource for family, personal, or church use. Uh, thanks for checking in. Please feel free to subscribe. If not, no big deal. Uh, but don't forget the link to Amazon is in the description. Have a great day. Love you. See you. Bye.